Hi everyone, ready for phonics today? So we are on our last sound of set two and then we will go back and practice them all again just to make sure that we have are amazing at them. So let's see what we can see on the picture side of this card. I can see a boy and I can see a toy. So when we see the picture side, we say toy for a boy. My turn, toy for a boy. Your turn, my turn grumpy voice, toy for a boy. Your turn, my turn mouse voice, toy for a boy. Your turn, my turn whisper voice, toy for a boy. Your turn, my turn robot voice. Oh, it's robot voice like the robot there. Toy for a boy. Your turn. Fantastic guys, well done. Now let's have a little look at the letter side of this card. So it is another two letters, one sound. When you see those two letters join together, they make the one sound oi. My turn, oi. Your turn. My turn, grumpy voice, oi. Your turn. My turn, mouse voice, oi. Your turn. My turn, whisper voice, oi. Your turn. And my turn, robot voice, oi, 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 oi. Your turn. Fantastic guys, well done. Right, are you ready to play the game? I'm going to hide it behind my back. If you see the picture side, you say toy for a boy. If you see the letter side, you say the sound oi. Are you ready? Which one is it going to be? Ready, steady. Toy for a boy. Let's go again. Which one is it going to be? Ready, steady. Oi! Well done, guys. And again, which one is it going to be? Ready, steady. Toy for a boy. And again. Let's see if Mrs Coleman can trick you or are you too clever for me? Ready, steady. Toy for a boy. And last one. Which one is it going to be? Ready, steady. Oi! Fantastic, guys. Now then, we are going to have a go at reading our green words which have the oi sound in them. So my turn first, then your turn. Are you ready? My turn. B, oi, boy. Your turn. Well done, fantastic reading reception. Next one. My turn. T, oi, toy. Your turn. Well done, you are superstar readers today. Next one, are we ready? My turn. J, oi, joy. Your turn. Well done. Now joy means if you bring joy to someone then you are making them very happy. And we have got one last one today. Are you ready? My turn. E -n -j -oi. Enjoy. Your turn. Well done. I wonder what do you enjoy doing? That means what do you like doing? Right then. Yesterday I showed you our new story for this week and it is called My Dog Net. Your challenge was to practice reading 
the green and the red words because these are the words that we are going to need to know for our story. Now then, before you read our story, I want to check that you understand what one of the words means. I wonder, who knows what is a vet? I'm looking at this picture on the front here and I wonder if you can spot who the vet is. So I can see a dog, I can see a little boy and I can see a lady here and she looks like she's wearing a special coat. Do you think this might be the vet here? Yeah, I think so too. Now a vet is a job that people do. So Mrs. Coleman's job is to be a teacher and I help children learn. I wonder what does a vet do? What is their job? What do they do? Have a little think. Have you got an idea? Because I want you to listen to Mrs. Coleman read the introduction to this story. This might help us out. So, why do we go to the doctor? When do you go to the doctor? Do you go to the doctor when you're feeling really well? Or do you go to the doctor when you are feeling poorly and ill? That's right, you go when you're feeling ill, don't you? When animals are ill, we take them to see the vet. Ah, so a vet is like a doctor for animals. A vet helps animals get better when they are poorly and ill. Ben has a big hairy dog called Ned. So I think this is Ned the big hairy dog and I think this is Ben. One day Ned starts to limp. So if he is limping that means he has hurt his leg or his foot. A bit like if you fall over in the yard and you hurt your knee or your foot it might be a bit tricky to walk properly at first might it? Then you are limping. He feels very sorry for himself. So if you fall over, then you feel a little bit sad, don't you? And you would like somebody to help look after you. Ned the dog is feeling a little bit like that. He's feeling a bit sorry for himself. Ben takes Ned to the vet. The vet rubs ointment. So ointment, that is like a special cream. So she is rubbing a special cream, an ointment on Ned's leg. And Ned sniffs it, sniffs with his nose, suspiciously. Hmm, I wonder what that means. That is a very long word, isn't it? Suspiciously. Hmm. I think Ned's not quite sure about that cream or that ointment. He's not quite sure what it is. So let's have a think. If Mrs. Coleman gave you some new food that you weren't quite sure what it was, you might look at it suspiciously. You might even sniff it suspiciously like Ned does with the cream. Suddenly, he starts to feel better and gives the vet a big surprise. I wonder what is the big surprise? Can you predict what the big surprise Ned might give to the vet? And then tomorrow Mrs Coleman is going to give you the rest of the story so you can read it. We'll see you then guys. Bye!